Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks kind of nice. <laughs> Looks kind yeah, of nice. It's, but, it's uh, all right. Do you, uh, you have there a music studio, yeah? And, yes. Uh, you still work? Uh, I'm working all the time, making time. music. Uh, it's, we've played host to a number of guys. Sting, who was on your yes. program. We've played uh, host to the Rolling Stones, Paul McCartney. We've had uh, Julio Iglesias. We've had just about everybody. Elvis Costello. Yeah. Uh, wow. They've all been great names. Yeah. Roxy Music, Brian Ferry. Yeah. These guys. He was also on the show. Yes, yeah. oh, I saw it on your on your uh, show reel. Promo, yeah. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, he. Yeah. They're all nice guys. They're all nice guys. Yes. I didn't meet the others, you know. I just met Sting the and Tim. The Stones, him. they're real good. I think I, I wouldn't be able to speak with the Stones. You know? No. I, I don't know. You would be. I just want to ask you something. Next is. Ah, yeah. It's all right. Just come on, talk to me, mate. Talk Tell me, you. I heard you, you do very good these interpretations, you know, like, like Pakistani people, Chinese uh, people. No, no, no. I, I, I do Mick Jagger sometimes, and that's can, what can I was trying to do to you just now. Okay, so. Yeah. I could say, uh, oh, yeah, oh, Ivan, yeah, uh, look, it's all right. You, you can talk to me, you <laughs> know what I mean? I, you don't have to worry about it. It's, <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> So I'll count this like I spoke with Mick Jagger, you know? Exactly. No. You just spoke to Mick. I can put it to my portfolio, you know, like... I have just... You, you can say I have spoken to Mick. Yeah, thank you. But uh, can you interpret uh, Paul McCartney? Very difficult. Paul McCartney <laughs> so almost... When he's, when he's speaking like a Yankee, you know, everything's <laughs> all right, you know? But... Uh, the Liverpoolian accent is almost impossible for a, a boy from Guyana to, <laughs> to, to interpret it. Yeah, I understand that. But you have many talents, uh, and uh, besides the music and everything, you, you did some TV shows, like and great interviews uh, with the Lech Valencia, if I'm if I'm right. Yes. And, yes. Uh, we did Lech Valencia, who was a great, great guy and a great humanitarian, and uh, he received me with all the graces of a president. Uh, yeah, he is a bit special. Yeah, it, it goes there, you know, it's like we can speak. And it's, uh, how, how, did, how did you feel in this role? Because doing interviews, I mean, you said before the show, like, we'll just do the normal conversation, yeah. which actually what this job is. Yes. But uh, not so many people understand it. Uh, that, that, that's the only thing that they should do. You know, uh, talking to people is easy for me. It doesn't matter whether I can speak the language or not. I've been in situations where uh, I'm talking to people that I don't know their language, and we have to get on wow. somehow. I have to get through the country, or I've got to get wherever I want to get to without uh, being able all, to speak the language. I would like to speak but to you about... For me, what is the most interesting thing? You didn't do the interview with the mus musicians, you did it with the politician. And it's, it's, it's kind of different. Uh... Because he's an important man. Uh, this, is, this really was a very serious uh, thing for me because I have an idea in my head about people. And uh, whether you're a politician or whether you're a priest or who, and I have an idea in my head about you, then it's easy for me to speak to you. We are yeah. speaking like equals, yeah. you know. And Lech Walesa was really a special man. We went there and uh, his whole family was very good to us. And I was not meant to speak for a long time with him because he's a very busy man. And he stayed there and we had a really great time. We took a lot of photographs and stuff. Yes, I'm very happy that I met Lech Walesa. Is there any... Uh, person that you um, any person that you wanted to do an interview with and you didn't manage, or now if somebody will come and tell you Eddie choose a person in the world to do an interview with, who would you choose? Wow. I wanted to speak to Muhammad Ali very, very badly, and that obviously did not happen. Mm -hmm. In today's world, mm, 
there are not that many people that I really would like, honestly, to, uh, to talk to on a one-to-one, -one, honestly, so that they would tell me the truth. Yeah. You see, there are a lot of people who are maybe politicians or leaders of churches or these kinds of things who you can talk to and you can have a fantastic discussion, but it would not be the truth. Yeah. Uh, so in looking for the truth, or even something looking like the truth, it's very, very difficult today. The world is really a very strange place today. I think I have to start writing again uh, <laughs> songs of social conscience. Absolutely, and, I'm encouraging you, know. you about yes. that. But is this the reason why would you speak with Muhammad Ali? Because you expect that he would say truth? When uh, a person uh, has a, a life like that and he has to defend it, it's very, very difficult. Let me yeah. tell you, when somebody's shaking millions of dollars in front of your eyes and saying, be somebody else, Mohammed, be somebody else, and he says, I can't. Yeah. I, just, I just don't know how to. That's a fantastic, and that deserves a round of applause. It is, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Our love. We came to the end of the show. We'll finish in about uh, four and a half minutes. And um, I, I, want to, I always ask my guests, uh, what do you do today? What are your hobbies, you know? How do you spend your free time? When you don't do music, do you enjoy it with your family or do you have some hobbies that you? I play sport. I've played squash. I told you I had heart problems at 23. <laughs> it's me. I learned to play squash at 34. Oh. <sighs> It just goes and it's to show. Tough. The squash is if somebody's very... look, look, looking at this show tonight and they're not well, just remember that I was sick at 23 and was about to give up, and I didn't give up. And today I am here, fit, strong, and able. It can happen for you. Yeah, cool. Nice. Ivan the Terrible. You, you've heard of this man? Of course. Ah, it's my grandfather. It's your, this, this is Ivan the Terrible. He did something to me tonight. And he laughed and he, oh, he's a guy, he's funny, he's got a great sense of humor. Thank you very much. You have a great sense of humor. Thanks a lot. Can I just take off my yeah, jacket? Of course, yeah. it, sure. it's, it's a little hot in here. I don't know if I'm going to lose my microphone. No, it's, it's ah. stick to your shirt. Okay, it's, it's a little hot. But, uh, can I, I mean... Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm sure this, that, you know, it's like... These, uh... <laughs> I dropped, sorry, I dropped the microphone. <laughs> I think I know what you're going to do. You, you, know. you don't know oh, anything. Oh, you absolutely have some part of your t-shirt or something. You don't know anything. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, everything, uh, excuse me, everything is all right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm playing for you. That's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So, now, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Since I've lived so long, <laughs> this lifetime belongs here. Okay. The next lifetime belongs here. Belongs here. Is, okay. that, is that good? That is more than good. So I'll do something that I never did in my life. Yeah. I'll, I, I never did this in my life and in my career. Never, oh, ever. I, I'm I'll shake sure. hands with somebody who's wearing a partisan Oh, my God, this is fantastic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only, in my, in my life, this is the only picture like that, you know. <laughs>
I feel like uh, who is the head of the United Nations? Yeah, I don't know now. I say that Ban Ki Moon, you know, something Ban like Ki Moon. That. Yeah. I feel like Ban Ki Moon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, oh, or, or, may, or maybe in my case, uh, Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan. <laughs> <laughs> I have luck because the president of the United Nations Parliament is a Serbian guy, Vukjeremic, so I can feel like a Serbian guy. Oh, know. well, great. It's below problem. you, don't worry. You no know, no like, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No okay. problem. We always, we always uh, finish this show with um, funny clips that the audience is uh, sending to us. So if you agree, if we can see that, and then I will release you from this suffer that you had here. I agree. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gledamo rubriku Stigla me pošta i krećemo naravno od mesta broj 5. See you know like uh... I mean, I never had a situation like, like this. It happened to me to get the wine or, or something like that, but, but the food never, you know. Gledamo mesta broj 4. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Glamour, Mr. Bray 3. It's very short. Skip there. Kind of like expectable. Mr. Bray 2. That they will show you, you know? <laughs> you need to do it with the legs first, you know? He messed the bread then. Call it. Zdravnički video je poslao Zdravko Batinić iz Beograda i on je dobio Maserati sat, ali Zdravko nije došao večeras, tako da će Bane doneti odluku da pokloni nekome sat, izvolite. Samo vidi da bude muško. Ozbiljno, a? To je nešto ozbiljno između vas ili... Yeah. You see what we do, you know, you know, the best one gets the watch, but he didn't come tonight. Oh, I see. And Bane decided to, to give a watch to a guy and uh, never mind, you know. That's uh, yeah, I, I don't want to think about it. No, know? me too. So well, we came to the end, and um, you said about the spectacular people that you wanted to meet and to do the interviews with, and if I would make my uh, list of ten all around the world, you're definitely on the list. So this tonight was uh, uh, like a dream came true for me, and I'm very, very happy that I met you, and I'm even happier that you're such a cool person, because sometimes you, you disappoint yourself about your idols, you know. Thank you very much. And I'm glad much. that I didn't disappoint myself. Thank, Thank you very much for being Thank my guest. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sledeće petka, 21 i 15, na televiziji prva, već s Jenom Ivanovićem. Hvala, lako noć.